Welcome. I'm so glad you can join us on Mission Evolution, where we bring the latest knowledge from today's leading experts to support your evolutionary process. I'm your host, Gwilda Wiecka. This hour, we'll explore longevity, evolutionary concepts on aging. Aging is a fact of life. It happens to any of us that don't die young. Yet, do we really have to deteriorate as we age? Is there a way to remain healthy, active, and creative at any age? Can we savor the experience of becoming an elder rather than dreading it? What would it take to evolve the way we age into a positive experience? With us this hour to consider this topic is Dr. Sandra Kaufman. Dr. Kaufman began her academic career in the field of cellular biology, earning a master's degree from the University of Connecticut in tropical ecology and plant physiology. She received her medical degree at the University of Maryland and completed a residency and fellowship at Johns Hopkins. Presently, she's the Regional Medical Director of Pediatric Anesthesia, South Florida for Envision Healthcare, and the Chief of Pediatric Anesthesia at Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital. Dr. Kaufman is the author of the, of the Kaufman Protocol. Her website, drkaufmanprotocol.com. Dr. Kaufman, thanks for joining us on Mission Evolution. I am so happy to be here. I'm looking forward to this discussion. So you're kind of hitting the world from both ends. You're working in pediatrics, and we're going to be talking about geriatrics today. How did you uh, get interested in geriatrics? So that's an excellent question, and I don't actually talk about geriatrics. I talk about avoiding geriatrics, <laughs> um, and the yes. I, I really do. Uh, as a pediatric anesthesiologist, um, I think kids are adorable. But the real thing that I've learned from being an anesthesiologist is how drugs and chemicals and molecules affect your cells, and conversely, how your body affects the drugs and chemicals that we put into it. So it's pharmacology, um, it's pharmacobiology, and it's the idea that we can sort of manipulate our cells to avoid aging and avoid sort of becoming geriatric. Um, the reason that I started doing this is because I am an avid rock climber and I was hanging off a cliff in my forties. And I thought, if I don't do something to stop aging, I'm going to die a horribly ugly death falling off cliffs. So I set out on this quest to sort of defy age. Defy age. Isn't that an interesting concept? I, I, I think it'd be interesting if you don't mind defining aging, because don't we view aging differently now than, you know, say our indigenous peoples did? Um, they stayed active and, and part of the tribe well into, you know, some, some of them over 100. And yet here, when we, when we hit 40, 50, like you say, we start to physically deteriorate. So what's causing that? So it depends on how or who you are and how you look at aging. Some people define it as loss of function. You know, I can't get down on the floor and play with my grandkids or I need reading glasses or 